In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to set up Google Webmaster Tools on your WordPress website. To do this, you're going to need to have access to your website and to your server. It's very easy to do though. First, you'll need to sign up to Google Webmaster Tools. You can do this at google.com forward slash webmasters. Then you need to add a site. And when you do, there'll be a couple of ways that you can verify that you own this website. There's the recommended method, which is to download this HTML file, which is independent for every website, and then upload it to the same directory that WP content lives in. If you change themes, this is probably the better way to do it. But of course, if you want it to be specific to your theme, that's totally doable too. So what we're going to show you is how to add Google Webmaster Tools via the meta tag. So if we click on alternate methods here, uh, we can check HTML tag. And what we get is this here. We get the meta tag with Google site verification and the specific content value that is required for it. So what we need to do is we need to now go and edit our theme. So in order to do that, it's really best if you're using a child theme and we've, we've covered how to do this before. So make sure you check that tutorial out before you do this. So what I've done here is I've connected to my server, uh, demo.dev and in the WP content folder, I go to themes and I can say I've got 2014 and 2014 child. We're currently using 2014 child for our theme because we are using this as the theme that we're making changes to as we go. We've already copied header.php from the original 2014 theme. So we're free to go and make changes to this uh, without having to worry about our changes being overwritten by a theme update. So we just need to open header.php and here we can see the head of the document. We have all of our other meta tags here as well as the title and the Google Analytics script. So all we need to do now is create a new line by hitting enter, paste in the Google site verification tag and save. And that will make sure that the meta tag is applied to all of our website's pages. Now all you need to do is go back into Google Webmaster Tools and click verify. It may take a few minutes for this to work and Google will check periodically, uh, but in most cases it will work straight away. And that's all you need to do to add Google Webmaster Tools to your WordPress website.